Zapier is my favorite ChatGPT plugin to automate my work because it just saves me so much time. It's automating my accounting. It's communicating with my team. It's even writing full emails, all 100% automated. Just set this up once and it just continues working. It's kind of like the future where robots are doing the work of humans. So I'll show you some of my examples and how you can set this up step by step right now, starting with step number one, activate plugins. So if you haven't activated your plugins yet, all you need to do is open the sidebar Go all the way to your account, click on settings and beta, and in the beta features, you need to plug the plugins on. Now we're ready to begin. Also remember that this only works in ChatGPT+. So if you don't have the Plus subscription, you will not be able to toggle the plugins on. The next step, just click on plugins, scroll all the way down to the plugin store, search for Zapier and click on install. Now again, in the drop downs menu, find Zapier and turn it on. If you never used Zapier before, you need to write this prompt. Create a Zap that triggers on Gmail and sends to Google Docs. This is just a simple Zap that helps you set up Zapier account and the triggers that we need to do. There we go. Just click on this link and this is where you need to make an account. Zapier's price is completely free for 100 tasks per month and the prices that goes up is 100% worth it in my opinion because it just saves so much time. So we're just going to continue with Google and you've just created your free account. Here you can see the basic test SAP, but this one isn't that good. I mean, sending emails to Google Docs, there is no purpose. So let me show you one of my favorite SAPs. This one essentially automates about 80% of my accounting, which saves so much time. And it's called make a ZAP that triggers on Gmail attachment and uploads it to Drive. Click on send. Now, before we confirm the creation of this app, I'm going to go to drive. I'm going to click on new and make a new folder that we're going to send all these attachments to. So I'm just going to name it accounting test as an empty folder. Now we go back to ChatGPT and click on confirm the zap. Now I'm going to teach you the basics of Zapier. And here you see we have the Gmail attached and we have an event here. You can have many different events that it triggers on. We're going to click on new attachment and just click on continue. And here you need to connect your Gmail account. We're going to use this Gmail for this purpose and click on continue. I'm going to keep inbox the same, but I'm going to keep the search string, the email that I'm getting invoices from here. You can see click funnels just as an example always sends me these invoices every single month. And we have these attachments that I would manually download myself. So it's important that you find the reply to email that you're getting attachments from. Now just click on continue. And then we're going to test the trigger to see if we did it correctly. This is an important thing to do because if you don't get all of this information, it means that you maybe have done something wrong. So go back, retest the triggers and everything like that. And now a word from our sponsors. If you're using Photoshop and manually removing blemishes on the skin, whitening the teeth, or even removing wrinkles in the shirt, AI is here to help you. Retouch for me is a must have Photoshop plugin for photographers. It works directly in Photoshop that you're already using and each effect that just takes one click to apply, gets a new mask so you get full control. I'm going to use this photo as an example. Here you can see without the healing effect. And then I'm going to slide the slider up and it removes all of these different spots. Here is before, here is after. Now I'm going to use the dodge and burn AI tool. And as you can see, her face gets more and more smooth before, after, before, after. <laughs> I love how the effects are so subtle, but it makes such a huge difference. Lastly, let's use the eye brilliance tool. As you can see, her eyes are just popping more and more and more. Here you can see me turning them on and off. I think it's a little bit too much. So we're going to put the blend a little bit down on the left. You see no AI retouching and on the right, you see one click AI retouching. I'm very impressed. Here is another example with just the heel before, after, before, after. Here is the dodge burn, just making it a little bit softer and more smooth. And lastly, the eye brilliance, just making it so good. Here is the before image and here is the after image. It's amazing what this AI tool can do in just one click. But don't take my word for it. There is a free trial in the description down below to test it out for yourself. And if you do decide to buy, 
Use the promo code ANDY20 for 20% off. Thank you so much to Retouch for me for sponsoring this section of the video. And then we're gonna continue to the next step. And that is to upload the attachment to Google Drive. So here you can see that I've updated my Google Drive here. Click on continue. Now I'm gonna choose the drive as my shared drive the folder accounting test. And the most important one is the file where you click on it and then select the ones here. So you can see we here, you can see that we have the attachment code. And the most important one is when you click on file, make sure you have this one selected attachment. And this goes for many of Zapier's zaps, especially when handling files. So just click on it and there we go. Convert document, no file name is gonna be default. File extension is gonna be fine. Then click on continue and let's test the action again. Now it's gonna try to do the entire SAP as a test before we automate it. It says a file has been uploaded to Google Drive. So let's check it and there it is. Now click on publish and this work has been automated for you. The next app is gonna automate your teamwork as well. So you don't have to manually send a bunch of messages to a lot of people. I'm gonna show you what I'm using but you can integrate this exactly in your workflow as well. Create a app that triggers on YouTube upload uses ChatGPT, Slack, and ConvertKit. Click on send. Just like that, we have one trigger and three actions. So we're gonna click here and customize it. Here you can see the workflow. Remember, I do YouTube. If you do some other things that you can trigger on, like an email or a tweet or even a TikTok upload, whatever you do regularly, you can keep this workflow the same. So we're gonna have the trigger new video in channel. Click continue, choose an account. I already connected my account, so YouTube main. Then we're gonna click on continue. Here we need a channel URL. The easiest way to get this, go to the YouTube studio of your channel and find this slug here at the end. Copy, continue, and test our trigger. Now we're gonna connect with ChatGPT to process all that data. Remember that this will use the OpenAI API, so it's different from your normal ChatGPT subscription. So just make a new account through their website it's very cheap to use. Now we're going to select a user message. Here we can take a bunch of data that we have from the previous YouTube video that we integrated. So we can take this title here. We can take the description as well. Treat this like a first message to ChatGPT. We're actually going to use much more of this when we go to the Slack integration. And now I'm going to write some prompts. So here is the title of our video. And here we have the title. And after that, we're gonna write a separate message, use the title and description to craft an email that goes to our email list using the format hook, three benefit bullet points of watching the video, one sentence each, and a CTA to watch our video. In the model, we can choose GPT 3.5 Turbo. It's a little bit more cheap. We can also click on model and use GPT 4 as well. Everything else we're gonna keep uh, very much the same, except the max tokens. We can do 500, click on continue, test the action, and we won't actually see the output until we start the zap. The next step is we're gonna integrate with Slack. So I'm just gonna click on continue here. I'm gonna pick a channel that we're gonna be sent to, so AI Andy Live. And this is kind of where the magic happens. In the text message, you can click on send the video details. And here you can actually have the completed reply. So you see it on the bottom here. This is the reply that we got. And this is the message text you will send to your Slack group. There's a lot of different formatting you can use in Slack. So we're gonna use the mention a user because I wanna contact contact my virtual assistant. And the way to do that in Slack is to click on these buttons on the profile you want to contact and copy member ID. Go down to YouTube trigger, click on the title. Let's grab the YouTube URL as well, the description and the thumbnail URL and the message. Please rewrite ChatGPT's response and send our email newsletter. I'm going to show you how to do that as well automatically. However, I feel like we're getting a little bit too specific. If you want a video about that, comment down below. But now, you can send as a bot. Yes, bot name Sabir. You can also call it your own name. You can even have a bot icon, but it really doesn't matter. There's a lot of other variables that you can use. We're just gonna click on continue, test the action. And just like that, in our channel, we have all of this message here with the entire description 
and the proposed email from ChatGPT. A full subject line as well as an intro and bullet points for them to watch so she can easily copy and paste and create that email that goes out so you can use this workflow to make communication a lot easier. I have a full list of automations that I think is about 32 that I use that I give away to my Patreons. I hope this helped you understand AI automation a little bit easier. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.